If you had a chance to reach a Pokemon goal you've been working on for, let's say, four or five years, and it was just going to be a really, really tough goal to hit, would you do whatever it takes to make that happen, especially if you have uh, competing bidders and it's going to be a tough, tough battle? Well, these two slow kings are the epitome of the goal that I've been chasing, which is an unlimited Neo Genesis um, Master Hollow Set, I guess you could, you'd call it that. Uh, first edition's out of the way, but the unlimited, this card has been eluding me for some time. For those of you guys that are aware, you know, this is a Pop 2 card. Uh, dude, that's all the way out of the camera. <laughs> It looks so bad. Uh, this is a Pop 2 card. Basically, the first one's been around since before 2014. No one's ever seen it. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know whose collection it's in. And then recently, in 2020, um, one of these was graded in a PSA 10. I've been talking to the owner since May of 2020, trying to figure this out. And these are the two Slow Kings that I have in my collection today. Um, I think one of these is in the registry, and you can just see these are beautiful, beautiful Slow Kings. I mean, just immaculate, immaculate condition. You can see that really no hollow full scratches. It's pretty well centered. And if you look at the back, I mean, pretty stunning example. Back, um, centering left to right is a little off, but really, really great card overall. Um, but again, you know, that chase for, for the best of the best and getting PSA 10s, um, it, it's been a chase I've been pursuing for some time. And so to do that, you have to make sacrifices. You have to you know, extend beyond what your comfortability normally is. And you have to do what it takes to make these goals happen. And so here's the other Slow King, just so you can see. You know, we'll actually give you guys a better look at what this looks like. You can just see this is a really good looking card. The hollow full really pops. There may be a print line in there somewhere. But you can see the back of this, pretty stunning. I mean, maybe a little bit more well-centered, uh, but it's a beautiful, beautiful card. And so the opportunity that came up for me to upgrade this card to PSA 10 was one I just could not pass. Um, I, you know, I've always prioritized the goals over what would make the most money or what is the hot item to chase. Um, in 2016, I, I very easily could have owned 20 Charizards if I wanted to, but I didn't. I pursued, you know, master Watsy sets because that's what made this hobby enjoyable for me. And a lot of you guys may not realize, but I do like to keep this as a hobby. Yeah, we do buy and sell every now and then, but as long as this card collecting business is fun for me, I'll stay in it. And I keep engaging with you guys as much as I can. I love having the conversations. This past week alone, I probably talked to four people for over an hour each, and I, I just loved every one of those conversations. So um, thank you guys so much for just letting me be a part of this and enjoy it with you guys. And this might be a little cringe, but it is what it is. I was hoping you guys would only see the $1 bill. But really what I'm doing, no, I'm just dropping hundreds. No, not really. Um, as I'm turning these two, I'm turning the Slow King from a 9 into a 10. I'm going to fly out this weekend to go pick it up. And this is basically what it's going to take. And really, when you hold this kind of cash in your hand, it really humanizes, like, the deal. It really puts it in perspective. It's like, am I about to give this dude, like, all this cash, which I, I know I work really, really hard for, um, just to better this collection goal. And if you knew how much time I spent on eBay just chasing it, just trying to make this happen, um, to try to figure this out, I mean, you would understand that even though this could be a lot of money to a lot of people, it can make a world of difference um, in many people's lives, um, completing this part of the collection has it, just been something that's been paramount. And so at this current time, I only have three hollows left I need for all Watsi, one of these being Slow King, the other one being the Amphros from Neo Rev, and the last one being Blissey from Neo Rev, which is Pop Zero. But I'm going to do the crazy, and I'm going to turn however much cash this is into a PSA 10, one of these. So really appreciate you guys just being here on the journey. Figure I'd let you guys on a little insight on this deal. Just landed, got a rental car. Pretty nice rental car, actually. First time doing one of these on like a stop and shop. So I got here Saturday at like 1230 or so, and there are a lot of banks that are closed. So we're literally gonna go into a grocery store that has a bank and, and do this. Um, hey, wish me luck. So I made it to the bank, it didn't die. I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm actually a huge Lola fan. He gave me a ton of like extra Louisville cards. Very, very excited about that. It's kind of like really cool. You can just see all these extras. And so it really goes to show that he like went out of his way to, to add something, you know, a little bonus that, that was very, um, you know, kind and, and thoughtful. But here's the Slow King. The card that I've been chasing for four plus years, just could not find it, PSA 10. And this this is just mind blowing. Um, at this time it completes, you know, the master hollow set. 
of Neo Genesis, which is all first edition and unlimited. I'll, I'll try to make another video to showcase that, but just a beautiful card. We're literally in someone's office in this bank, <laughs> kind of cool. And then here's all the cash, handed it to our friend here. And how does this feel? It feels awesome. Um, I really appreciate it. I mean, it was hard getting this. I bought a lot of these uh, unlimited uh, Slow Kings in the mm -hmm. past. Uh, my goal was always trying to collect low pop stuff, and I thought Unlimited was always, you know, underrated. Yeah. And um, because nobody was, you know, collecting them and preserving them at the time. And so Unlimited had all these low pops, and so that's what I invested in uh, or purchased back in the day. And uh, this was a recent submission. It came back at 10, and I want to reach out to uh, uh, Jim at Pokemon because I know he has been looking for it for a long time. Although it's hard for me to let it go because this is arguably one of my best cards uh, yeah. in my collection. So. so what are you going to do with all I think everyone wants to know, what are you going to do with all this all this cash? Like, um, what I'm, is, I'm definitely, what is this going to do for you? I'm going to probably go back to school and hopefully my goal is to, um, you know, um, my goal is to help people. So whether that being teaching or social work, I haven't decided. I have to look at, um, see what I get and uh, accept it to for schooling. Um, uh, I applied to some schools, but I'm still waiting to hear back from them. So you guys hear that? Like literally the Pokemon community is, it's full of great people, you know, people on E4, people that we talked to on Instagram that we have conversations with. Um, all this is going to go to a good cause. It's going to help someone take the next steps with their goals in life. Mm -hmm. well, we have masks on, so that's why it might sound a little muffled. The most important thing is not just helping me, but I hope to help other people in the long run with this, you know. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, if I can go to school and become a social worker, and um, use this cash to help me do that, I'll be helping multiple lives, you know, in the end. And that's, that's, that's the goal. Or, or a teacher. I'm trying to figure yeah. out between those two, but whatever I get accepted into, that's what Dude, I'm Dude, I could not have found a better person to, to pick this up from. And, you know, like I mentioned before, we've been talking since May to get this deal done. And the best part about this video is going to be the part that we make in 10 years where I can come back, I can show you where this where this lovely young gentleman has <laughs> has gone in life and all the people he's helped and you know this is going to help him get to a place where he can help other people that he may not have been able to to get to before so you know life is life is crazy life is kind and um this this is helping me tremendously and and this is going to help change someone's life so this is this is a huge thing and and I couldn't be happier just to do this deal yeah, with you of course so well, we made it back to the airport back to Chicago. I'm alive, I'm safe, I'm pretty happy. So we're on the set registry website for PSA and this is the big moment. Got the card right here at home, you know, back where it belongs, going into the set. So this is the last step right here, guys. So what I did is you can add new items to your inventory right here, just a little quick. Quick add, give it a second to load. Successfully added. So, oh, so these are all my sets. No. Um, and then you can see right here, this is what it looks like before. You see it's missing the Slow King 9 Pop 2. Hit refresh. And uh, did it not add? Oh my gosh, it didn't add. Are you kidding me? Come on. Well, maybe I have to like add it to the set. Okay, so we're going to go. I'll show you guys how to do that. This would be a little learning lesson. So we just go to this part, scroll on down. And then add best available. A little learning lesson here. So should have added the Slow King right here, PSA 10. And then we just scroll back up to the top, go to the set. Number one, baby. 10, 10. Yeah, there we go. This is huge. This is huge. Um, so excited. So did add. So I added it to my inventory and then I had to go to the set, you know, where you edit and stuff and then just add it there too. So the complete Neo Genesis set, PSA 10 for non -op for unlimited. Um, th this is, this is epic. This is epic. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, what, what a cool, cool trip. What a cool process to get here. Um, and just, I uh, appreciate all you guys tuning in. So until next time.